So it's creating the space, mm. not compact, tired legs. Yeah. Tired legs. Well, you say tired legs, we're, you know, we said that, we alluded to that at the end of the first half, but for 20 minutes in the second half, they, they, yeah. were, they were forcing the pace. So but they've just had a 15-minute break and probably like a drinks yeah, break but, but, and all but of then that, if, you know. But then if they're leggy, they wouldn't be able to do that. I think there's too, many, it's too much excuses going on about legs, about legs. Yeah, I understand they've had a tough schedule and they've had a lot of travelling and they've had to pay. But listen if, we, if we, if we, listen, if the ordinary man in the street's watching this now and he's got to get up and go to work, we're talking about idly paid football players who get the best of, um, you know... You get care. the best of care in terms of your recovery, in terms of your food, in terms of your diet, right? No excuses. Don't do excuses. You've got to play. Uh, if you're going to be uh, top players, if you're going to play at the top, then you've... You, and we're talking about 15, 16 games into the season. We're not talking about 30 games in the season. And top teams play three games a week all the way through the season. Are you in agreement there? Because, I don't know, for me, it's human nature. You're going to get tired. I mean, OK, well, 15 games into the season, they've had five match days in the Champions League. They had to travel for that. They're in the latter stages of the League Cup as well. It's well over 20 games at this stage with a threadbare squad. Which it is, because I of the understand, injuries. No, I understand, <laughs> I understand that they've got injuries, right? We've, we, we highlighted that at the start of the, uh, of the programme. They've got 13 players who would be considered as first-team players. That's a hell of a injury list to have to cope with. But if you're telling me now... Well, I mean, listen, all I can do is go off the back of my career. I, I, I played 70 games a season and it wasn't a problem for me to play those games. Were well, you the fittest on your team? I was probably one of the fittest players in the Premier League. <laughs> Doesn't that say something more about you? Maybe you were the exception no, but to I the played, rule? I played with Leeds United, with Gordon Strachan, who was 40 at the time, with Gary McAllister. These players played. Gary Speed, God rest his soul, played till he was 36, 37. If you're fit, and I'm not saying that these players aren't fit, because they are, no. they are fit, but there's the mental side of it now where everybody's talking about being tired and if you start talking about being tired, then you start believing you're tired. OK, they've had a 15-minute break, but they have come out and they've upped the pace. Listen, I, I understand what Carlton's saying, but I think when, as in, he, he's got his experience, I've got mine, and I think, I think what, you know, you look at the top, uh, the top clubs, yes, some have got injured, but Man City, you know, these clubs are, are used to playing um, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, you know, for years now in the Champions League and just just the whole emotion and everything and you know when we was at Leicester I said we you know we struggled as a group to 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 cope with that I think it takes a bit of time to get used to if you don't have a big squad yes they've got mate 12 injuries did you say they've yeah got? Yep. yeah 12 listen 13. and you know Eddie Howe would make changes and um, whereas you no know, these lads are uh, you know it's new to them to go away to a PSG put that much effort in to come back listen I'm not giving them excuses I'm just saying that I can understand with the injuries why. Towards the end of the games, you know, the, 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 legs, the legs are getting tired. No, and I'm, I, listen, and let's, uh, you make a good point, and I, I have to go back and say that. The, the players that they've got in their, their side will not have been used to playing midweek in the Champions League, and that's a different ball game. That mm. takes it out of you when you go into top European sides who can keep the ball and you're chasing the game all the time. I, I hold my hands up to that. It they, they, they does take its toll. I think on that as well, just quickly, I think the difference between the top teams, Man City, Liverpool's, is that actually when they are playing midweek, they keep the ball. Yes. The way Newcastle play They're isn't always. to keep the ball. So they put in more energy into the games than the top teams because yeah. they like to sit in and they work the socks off. So I also think that plays a part as well as the, way the, the, the fact that they don't keep the ball as much as the top teams.